We're living in an unprecedented time at the moment. Many challenges, many people are feeling overwhelmed by the changes that have taken place. But as Buddhists, I think we can recollect that, in fact, the challenges that we're facing in an unusual time are not so different from the challenges we face in a normal time. Um, challenge, above all, how not to suffer and how not to create suffering for others and how to create uh, happiness, benefit for yourself and for others. The path of practice is, is the same. We begin with dana, which is giving, generosity, kindness. I think this has been a revelation for many people over the past couple of months, just how good it feels to do good. There's nothing wrong with that. On the contrary, giving and sharing, um, there's something about it that just feels right, that just feels that, yeah, this is how you express yourself as a human being fully and by giving and helping and sharing. Second is uh, element of our training, of our education is sila or morality. And that means being a great deal of care and attention to how we act, how we speak, how we affect those around us. And if you're um, isolating or you're at your home and spending a lot more time with family members, then it's quite likely you're going to get a little bit irritated and you lose your temper every now and again. And so this is a time um, that we can put a lot of work into right speech and that kind of mindfulness of our impact on others and helping to create that sense of safety and warmth and trust um, in our family, in our wherever we may be living. Third most essential element, of course, is pawana, cultivation, and um, beginning with that effort, right effort, to prevent unwholesome mental states that have not arisen from arising, from dealing wisely and uh, skillfully with those that have arisen, putting effort into bringing wholesome, beautiful mental states into the mind and to cultivating and bringing to maturity those that have arisen already. So the these um, these three things, dana, sila, pawana, um, the, they are our work. They're the things that constitute our lives as Buddhists. And perhaps um, this is a silver lining that we can find in the difficult period right now, um, is seeing very clearly uh, what role they play in making our life livable, or even to find some, some joy in this difficult time. Um, most importantly, again, to stress this uh, formal meditation practices, at least in the morning and the evening, even if they're not for very long, spending time reading Dhamma books, listening to Dhamma, reflecting on Dhamma, and trying to integrate the Dhamma teachings into your daily life. So I'd like to offer my um, blessings and um, warmest wishes to, to everyone in this difficult time. It's not going to last forever, it's impermanent. And so let's um, do what we can to make each day as good as it can be.